Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do hopefully the last part of this. If I don't finish it, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do so I can get it off my to-do list. We're having a little um, issues around the house, so. Forest Girl Coloring Book. And I went ahead and did the mattress. I did that in do 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 ivory. Uh, cork, nope, just beige for the little lines. Went in with uh, sepia to do the dot, 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 and darken up the corners and the lines. Um, started this little box over here, and that is being done with um, burnt ochre, giving it a reddish color. Scoot everything over. We're following the color pattern over here. We're going to get the table. I mean, my chair is darker, but that's the way it goes. The table done is about the same color as the box. And then there's a whole other rug over here, which I'm just going to leave in solid colors because I just don't have the energy to put any other thing on there. The bear is about the same color as these um, boxes. It's a little redder. And then we have one package. A really dark package and a light package and then some kind of thing with a button over here. I don't know what it is. And there's a tiny little star peeking out on this side. This is going to be a darker corner so I'm going to ink it after I'm colored it. There's a little envelope here and the floor is all brown. I may do that with ink also. I don't know. Right now we're going to tilt the book a little bit and get this tabletop done. So let's see. Lock the camera so it doesn't blur out every time I move. Just using the side of the pencil lead to get as much color down as I can without using too much pressure. Put a little more pressure on the corner of the table just to darken that. And then put a shadow under the books. So make that a little darker. And then the corner over here. I don't care if that goes into whatever the thing is over here. First I think it's a piano, then I think it could be a desk, and it's just a dark color, so that's all we're going to do to it. <laughs> Darken this spot, and a little over here. Okay. And our table legs. We'll leave that for a bit and go down and put this color on the bear. Still using the soft uh, pressure on the side of the pencil. ball up here is about the same color, so we'll put a little of that in here. It's 
the floor. Okay, anything else about this color? Do, 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 do. This is lighter, but it has some of this color in there. Okay, a little bit of it in whatever this is. I don't know very many boxes that have that on them. And a tiny touch of it over here in the envelope. Okay, chair is brown. This is um, a cushion of some kind. And then, of course, this blanket has color in it, but I'm not doing that. <coughs> brown. This is red. Let's see, we have our red down here. It was kaput mortem. <coughs> And we'll just do this tie here on this package. violet in there just to add a little bit more red coloration in that. Okay, what color is the bear's neck tie here? It's going to be red. Same two colors. Then we're going to throw a little cream in it just to highlight it. I'm going to sharpen that. Excuse me. I got to reach it. Reaching is causing me problems. First, what's new? I can't wait to get to the doctor. I wish they didn't make you wait so long to go in and get checked out by a primary doctor around here. Got to have a primary doctor to make sure you get all the right medications and questions answered. And <laughs> always fun. Still going around with the ivory. This box is lighter, so we're just going to add that in over that color. So yeah, the appointment was made. Okay. Three weeks ago, and I still have to wait another week. And this is just irritating me to pieces put it that way. Okay, let me go in with um, raw umber for this because we're going to darken that. It's a little rag. And we're going to darken the envelope or rag or whatever this is. Kind of looks like an envelope, but who knows? It's going to be the same color as the piece up here. It's got stitching on it, so it could be a rag. Okay, we're going to take this and darken our little teddy bear. You guys ever have problems getting doctor's appointments? <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we're going to add a little of uh, this brown on the corners of this package. I mean, the funny thing is, where I live, we have a ton load of doctors. <laughs> Got a hospital that's maybe, well, it's down the hill, but it's like a half hour away. Not even that, 20 minutes maybe. So when we go into the doctor and we need tests and all that, I mean, you just pop down there and get every test taken. But you need the doctor to tell you to go down and take tests. I'm going to darken these lines here. Can't just go down there and ask for them. <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, then we'll just kind of give it some texture here. And then make our label. Whoop. Trying to make that a little better line. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what's on it, so <laughs> we just scribble that in there. Make it lighter. And then just bring in the ivory again. And then we will bring in the beige. Because why not, right? We're just adding color on top of color here to make it work. This is a whole bind, so it's a little creamier. So don't press too hard or you'll get really weird lines in there. Put it on the ball. Okay, washcloths, little bear, gonna have to outline him, gonna go up to the table and put some of this in here. Okay, I'm going to do the chair, and we're going to do it in a little burnt sienna, it's a leather chair. It's kind of done the same way the mattress is, we're going to put our little lines in there. It's pushed in with the buttons.
Okay, and under here. And then the seat. I'm putting other colors on here, so it's not going to be bright red. I don't know, that should be coming down this way. Who knows? Just gonna darken it. <laughs> okay. A brown. Brown, 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 brown. I know I have a brown out here. We've oh, used it a few times. There we go. That's a chocolate. Uh, thought I had a brown, 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 brown out here. I got the sepia out here. Now I'll just use some of this burnt umber. Kind of darken this just a little bit more. So you all ready for Easter this year? <laughs> it's real close. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a little fluffier here by adding some curves. bring in a little bit of the raw umber
getting there. Okay, since I have the inks we used, I'm going to pull out some of the um, vintage photo and a little bit of the um, walnut. The tiny little tool here. And we're going to add in some of these colors. Vintage photo first. Get some ink on that. You want it full, so... There we go. Nice and dark in here. That's where you sit. And then we'll pull it up into here. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of the walnut to darken it just a bit more. Using the same ink pad on that side and darkening it. The chair legs we're going to do in the dark sepia. So we'll just trace around these. in the book. Hmm. Darken the buttons. And then we will find another color to put in there. Um, 
Oh, not that one. <laughs> we'll go back in with the uh, raw umber. Pressing a little harder on that and bringing it into the chair too. Get rid of any of those lines. bring in a little of the um, Holbein beige here and just highlight. Then we're going to get, where, where are you? Just bought one. And of course, I can't find it. There we go. Karen Dosh um, Pencil Blender comes in a wood form now. It also still comes in its uh, regular form. I figured this one might be easier for me to use. And we're just going to go around and blend that all together. I do this only on this book because it has such a large tooth to it. And I want everything to look a little smoother. There we go. All right, we're going to take the eraser here. I made a boo-boo over here. Not that that's going to make a big difference because there's going to be uh, ink on that side. Everything's going to be dark going in, dark going up, and darken it over here and darken it over here a little bit and get a floor down. So we're not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to take the same beige and we're going to go up here into this table and just add it in and smooth that out. And then I'll take a darker pencil and put some wood grain into it. And we'll just take the um, raw umber. Then we'll take in the um, Karen Dash and blend it a bit. We want to bring that right up into those books. Give them some color, but not much. barely do anything else so I'm going to go ahead and outline this little teddy bear 
This is the uh, raw umber. bring up the sepia up here with a bunch of my hair in my hand. And again, you can't tell what that is. And we'll add some into the clock up here. Pendulum. Gonna make that goldish color. So just dark Naples. And there's a little light up here from that light. And there. got here. It's kind of a red color, so in with the Kaput Mortem. Not exactly sure what this clock is doing. It's just a bunch of lines and squiggles in here. And then we'll put the beige color in here. Okay, that's all I can do today. So we'll have one more part, I guess. Sorry about that. white and a little bit of the beige just to highlight those little spots. So that's what we've got so far. Like I said, it's going to get darker when we get down here. So <laughs> we have to figure out that this is just a dark blob of something and I'll color the pictures in <coughs> that that and the rugs and the floor and then inking on in the next video and fixing the lights up on the top I'll show you how to do that 
Or I can show you how to do one and then I can stop. How's that? And then I can doodle on them, rest of them. We're just going to take the sepia. Since they're all kind of dark, and we're going to outline them. That's not the, even the sepia. That's burnt umber, but then we'll bring in the sepia. How's that? And just help that out. Now that all these um, are dark, so we're going to darken those. Is this one? It's got a Probably do them all. There is um, Holbein white on these, and I'm just blending it right in with the pencil. It gives it its own little highlight. And then we'll bring in the brown up here. Crooked. So we'll try to straighten that out. And then put a shadow under here. Add a little lightness around there. Yep. Got to take that off. So when you're erasing someplace else, you don't get that line, which I just put there. So a bit of white will help take it away. Okay white light bulb in there so I'm putting the white on it and you can always turn them yellow later there we go all right hope you guys are enjoying and i will see you in the next one if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below and i'll get to them as soon as i can 
If I don't um, get back in the next couple of days, I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. Hopefully I will, but who knows? <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye now.